Hi, Derek here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, one of the, the queries you might have is why my workspace isn't looking the same as yours or, or you know, what's the best way to set up your workspace. And if you come up to here at the top right hand corner of your screen, you'll see there's a little drop down here. And when you get Photoshop straight out of the box, do your download, it will look something like this. Um, this is the default workspace and for workspace essentially it's it's what you want down here. Now I have mine set up this way and basically I want to see my layers down here and have access to the bits and pieces here that I want. And when I have an adjustment layer on, like this one here, it's an adjustment layer. There, there's two parts to an adjustment layer. There's the mask and there's the actual adjustment. So if we go up here, that symbol there and that symbol there, that's a, that's a adjustment. And this one here is linked to the mask. And when you've got a mask, you can have a, um, a different densities and you can feather the mask. If you look at the mask here, you'll see that there's solid parts of it and there are feathered parts of it. That's nothing really to do with what's happening up here. It's more to do with uh, how I have my brush set up. But but you can change the mask as well. I also have the mask set at 0%. There's almost never a time when I've got it up at this side. Um, and density at 100%. But when you want to make adjustments to um, the, the adjustment layer, I want to see what I'm doing with the properties. I don't want to have to go to another screen. So I've got my workspace set up like this. So if I go back to Essentials, see this is it, the default one. Th this is what you'll have. And to set your workspace, if you go up here to the top to the window, essentially whatever is ticked here, the text is showing over here. Um, for example, if I want this to have the brushes showing, tick that. Now it, it's showing as a pop up at the side, but if I wanted to, I could lift it over and attach it in here. And now it's part of that workspace. Um, I don't want that. And when you don't want something showing, again, come back up to Windows and then untick. So I've taken that back away. But you'll see it doesn't look like it did a minute or two ago. So we can go up to Essentials and I can go somewhere else. For instance, uh, there. And then go back to Essentials. And you see it still doesn't look like it did a minute or two ago. That's no problem. What you do, you go up to here. Back up to Window. Back up to Workspace. And then you can reset the workspace and I'm going to reset essentials and it's back to how it should look when it came out of the box. But if I wanted to keep um, a change I made here, so for instance, let's let's go up here, let's get the this changed a little. So I don't usually have the colour there, I, I, I use a colour picker in a different way. So we'll get rid of the colour and we'll get rid of libraries, don't use that. And let's let's put some things up here. What I would I always have the properties. So I'm going to lift the layers. I'm just hidden my properties. Let's go back up here. Get properties shown again. We we'll get that there. And if you left click on the word, you can then drag that about to wherever you want it. I want to just lift it over the layer. And when I lift over the layer, you'll see the blue line going solid. If I drop it there now, it's going to hook to the side of that. And, I, and I, you can keep it hooked to the side if you want, but it, it reduces your workspace. So if you click and drag it again, left click and drag it, you'll see the solid line eventually going all the way around. If to bring up, it's all the way around, but I don't want to. I'm going to drop it just now, but that's not where I'm going to leave it. So now we have it layers 
and uh, pass the property. I want my properties over to the left, so I'm just going to do that first. And my layers, I'm just going to drag down and have them down here. So we have the properties there and we have the layers there. And I can also go back up to here and add on other things if I wanted to. But that that's pretty much how I keep mine. I have my layers and my properties. And if I lift this tab up here and put it back up here. Right, so let's bring, bring it down here because I keep that roughly about here. And you can you can if you look for the, the drag handle here you can resize it to, to suit you. So I always have mine down there. And the other thing that I will have is adjustments. And I just have that up there. Again, I'm going to put that one in here just beside properties. And we could turn off style and library. So if we go to window, take that over there out of the way. Uh, take that over there out of the way, put that up there, and then you can close that down. So I prefer to have it like this properties, channels, paths, adjustments. And put that to about there, and that to there. And this one here, you can, this little tag here, if you just click that, whoosh, that's away out the road. And I can squish it all the way up there completely or open it back up. So so that's how we do it. Again, turn this libraries one back off. Libraries is something that um, Adobe want you to use so you can go online and store pictures online. I always think that once you start storing stuff online, that's it, you're stuck and you're forever at their mercy after that. So, so that's how I set them up. So once you've got it set up how you want it, I see. I also sometimes have my video recording equipment and and I display that here. So once you've got it set up how you want it, then go up to Window and then Workspace. And if you say New Workspace, you can give it a name. And let's just say this is just a test space. And just click save. Don't worry about checking any of these boxes. You'll see up here now we have this test space. And so I'll go back down to how I prefer it. Mine's photography. And that's how I have mine. It's just different adjustment in the layers. Or we can go back to the one we just created uh, test space. And there you go. That's how you create a, a workspace for yourself. The only thing I would add that this saves without you saving. So we now have this here as a workspace, a test space. If I decided to drag this to here and I now go back over to um, photography, you'll see my photography is still as it was. But when I come back to the test space one, this is still here. So this will stay. It, it saves it as you're using it. So you've created a workspace, but any changes you make within the workspace will continually be saved. Um, so, so just be aware if you start moving everything about, um, it might not be exactly how you want it. So I'll just drag that down there. And I usually have quite a lot of layers. That's why I, I prefer a, a kind of longer looking layer um, panel here. But again, you could just left click and drag this out. You drag it anywhere you want on the screen, just whatever suits yourself. So there you go. That's how you make your own workspace. And the other thing about having this up here, this uh, let's just say we go to adjustments and we want a, a photo filter. I've immediately got the properties open. I don't have to go down here now to add an adjustment layer. I can do it from this panel here, just click on anything I want. Once you're familiar with it, that's fine. You'll, you'll maybe use it. I use it quite a lot from here, but you, you may not. And once you've got a photo filter, you could... I like to have this properties dialog visible 
it's entirely personal preference once you get used to all the windows um, setting them up to, to what, what you want for yourself so that's how I've got mine I'll reset it back to my photography space and there you go and I'm just going to delete that last layer so I don't forget it okay I hope this helps set you on their path to having your own workspace.